To write the formula for copper 1 sulfate, we go to the periodic table and we look up copper, and the element symbol for copper is Cu. For sulfate, it ends in ATE, so you're not going to find it on the periodic table. This is a polyatomic ion, so we can look it up on a table of common polyatomic ions, or you could have it memorized, and this is a good one to memorize. Sulfate, that's SO4, and the charge is 2 minus. So we have copper, that's the metal, and then we have a group of nonmetals, the sulfate group. A metal and nonmetals, that's ionic. We need to think about the charges when we write the formula. So we have 2 minus for our sulfate, we looked that up, and then copper, it says copper 1. That Roman numeral tells us we have a plus 1 ionic charge. And since this is an ionic compound, these need to add up to zero to give us a net charge of zero. They don't add up to zero right now, but we can change the subscripts to make that happen. We'll use something called the crisscross method. We'll move the two here, and then we can move the one over here. We don't write the one by convention. Get rid of the charges here. And that's the formula for copper one sulfate. But let's check our work, make sure we got that right. We said copper, because of the Roman numeral 1, has a 1 plus ionic charge. The sulfate, we looked that up, that was the 2 minus. So I have one sulfate ion, that's 2 minus, and I have two copper ions, 2 times the plus 1, that's 2 plus. So 2 plus and 2 minus, that adds up to 0. So this is the correct formula for copper 1 sulfate. Let's clean it up. And that's it, copper 1 sulfate, Cu2SO4. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.